creating a business is a labor of love and it's hard. And I would say it doesn't have to be so hard. Often we women entrepreneurs get in our own way. We slow ourselves down. The overthinking, the comparisons, that need for everything to be perfect before you can start, which yes, perfect doesn't exist. And it's no wonder that these reasons and many more are why we feel very overwhelmed in our business or feel stalled out to get to the next level. I know because I have been there and I've moved past it. Hi, I am Laura Geminder. I'm a certified business coach and the creator of the Skills to Pay the Bills program. It wasn't too long ago, I found myself in a corporate role that it didn't light me up. It didn't energize me. It wasn't what I felt like I was put here to do. And so in looking for that next job, that next career opportunity, I, I couldn't find it. So I took a self-assessment, thought about what I was good at, the skills that I had, and created a business. Had clients coming to me, started building some momentum and got stalled out. What did I do? Well, I binge watched Netflix for a while and then I hired a coach and I created a plan. And most importantly, I got out of my own way. I built my confidence up. And even if it was something that I was scared to do, I was worried that people were going to judge me. I was worried that no one would buy from me. I took action and created exper what I consider experiments and really moved the needle in my business. Now I make way more than I did in my corporate role and the sky is the limit. I have been awarded many awards and have been recognized as both a certified coach and a motivational speaker. It's Speaking of those times and what that's looked like in my business, I've worked with over 10,000 women in the last 10 years. And so many of them have shared that, that they too are what gets in their own way, right? Some of that that we've learned as women growing up in this society uh, to be risk adverse, right? To not be salesy, to not brag about ourselves when maybe we're not bragging, we're branding our business. And so there's so much of that fear that does hold us back. And so thinking about, you know, what would it be like to fear less in your business? Less doubt and more action. How do you get to that place of action to grow yourself while you grow your business? to gain clarity and take action to build your confidence. Action, confidence, action, confidence. If that perfectionism is getting in the way and blocking the action, you aren't gonna grow your confidence. You aren't gonna grow your self-esteem. You aren't going to be able to do what is necessary in this day and age to be successful in your business. And that's why I've created a group to come together, ambitious women just like you, who said enough is enough. Like, I know I can do this and I'm slowing myself down. To come together, to have some accountability, to have some cheerleading, to bounce ideas off of each other, to get coaching when you're truly stuck to figure out what is going on there? Why am I not raising my rates? Why am I not launching my program? Why am I not signing the $13,000 clients? And those are all examples of the successes other women have had in earlier editions of this programming. It has been mind-blowing because the thing is, is that we all have goals and those will look different in our business, but at the essence of it is can I do what I think you, what I think I can do? Do can I do what I need to do? Because the thing is, if you think you can or think you can't, you're right. So so much of it is mindset, and it is strategy. It's having the right strategies, not the strategy, the right for you strategy. There's no cookie cutter with this program. There is the support at the intersection of mindset and strategy, and 
I would love for you to join us. We are getting started next week and you don't want to miss out on this. The women that have signed up are freaking mind blowing. Awesome. Like come join us. Let's work on this together. This has been a hard time, a hard year. And there are so many women with that momentum that they are having the ideal clients. They are making the sales and coming together, setting those goals, working on it, right? Working in the business, not just on the business and in the business and on the business, on the business and in the business. Important. And what's the big picture for the big strategy to be able to spend your time and energy on the things that are going to get you to that next level next month and next year, that you are constantly creating that foundation brick by brick, level by level to get to that ultimate goal that you have for your business, whether you're a solopreneur or you see yourself expanding, hiring a team, contractors, uh, that's some of what participants have done as well, hired co-founders, hired contractor VAs, but thinking about how do we get out of overwhelm? How do we be more intentional in our business? How do we be more visible in a high-tech online world that isn't showing up on Facebook Live every day unless you want to show up on Facebook Live every day? Again, it's you, you are your competitive advantage and you need to be in the zone of genius. You need to be connecting with your clients where they are in a way that feels good to you. And this program will help you do this. This program will move the needle for you. You will be in a different spot when the program ends at the end of fourth quarter and think about what that will look like for your business in 2022 and beyond. Don't miss out. We start next week and roll today or reach out if you have any questions. Thanks for your interest. I look forward to working with you soon. Take care. Bye.